Ideally, who would be the best NASCAR Cup Series champion? No, God! So this past week, I was scrolling Twitter like I do, trying to figure out things that are going on, maybe sliding some DMs here or there, see what's happening. And I came across NASCAR's pay partnership podcast with Barstool Rubbin' His Racing. And they were talking about who would be the best NASCAR Cup Series champion for the sport. And their general consensus was Denny Hamlin. Because he's a star of the Netflix show, he co-owns a team with Michael Jordan, and he markets himself really well. And while I can see the thought process there, I couldn't disagree more. Sure, Denny is super, super marketable for himself. He's a polarizing character that half the fan base loves him, half the fan base hates him. It might be more like 75% hates him. But regardless, Denny gets his name out there. He does, of course, own a team with Michael Jordan. That's pretty cool. But at 44 years old, which is what he'll be when the championship ro race rolls around this November, he's not the guy that NASCAR needs to put all of their marketing budget behind because he's like three to four years away from retirement. So is that who they should go after? Like, no, God! No, no, it's not. That is not who they want to be their champion. Although it would be a nice story, Denny Hamlin doesn't get outside of this NASCAR motorsports bubble. We know like three and a half to four and a half million people watch each week. And for the most part, everybody kind of knows everything and they know who Denny Hamlin is. But outside of that, most people don't know who Denny Hamlin is. So when you think about it, back in the 90s, 2000s, you could walk up to basically anybody and be like, name a NASCAR driver. And they would say Dale Earnhardt or Jeff Gordon, somebody along those lines, active drivers at the time. Right now, I think the only active driver that people that don't really know anything about NASCAR could name is Bubba Wallace. And I know, I just heard that massive groan from the audience, but Bubba is the best champion for NASCAR. And hear me out before you come at me with all of your Bubbles, your Bubbles Wallace, New Skate, all those conspiracy theories, how much you hate him, and it's not because you know. Yeah, okay, hear me out real quick, because Bubba Wallace, while he hasn't made it to a championship four yet, would be the best champion for the sport right now. Why? Because he's super marketable. He's easy going, easy to talk to, has a good story, and his name resonates outside of the sport. His name transcends the sport. People outside of the sport know who he is. Bubba winning a championship gets him and NASCAR onto the cover of everything. Every show wants a part of him. Why? Because he's different than what we've already seen. He's take race outside of it he is again a super marketable driver there's a reason 2311 has a ton of sponsorship for his car it's because people want to be on board with him because he's good at marketing he lets netflix in he's a part of the show a big part of the show he has the netflix documentary on himself and everything that went into 2311 and getting that off the ground the guy gets it he understands it so while people will sit out here and grow and be like he only has two cup series wins you're right at the end of the day, though, he would be the best champion because it would help promote the sport outside of the circles that the sport's already in. And I know there's going to be people right now that are like, Chase Elliott would be a better champion for NASCAR than Bubba Wallace. And I couldn't disagree more because we've already seen a Chase Elliott championship back in 2020. And you know what it did for the sport? Nothing. Zero. A zero amount increase in the amount of people that paid attention to the sport. Not for any fault of Chase. One, he's not good at marketing himself. He doesn't want to be marketed. He doesn't want to be the face of the sport, even though he's the most popular driver. Figure that one out. As soon as fans realize that, maybe they'll actually vote somebody in that you know does want to actually promote the sport. Chase can have his private life and everything. I respect that and whatnot. But at the same time, like he's not a good champion for the sport. He's popular amongst the fan base. They'll sell a lot of merch because of it. But in terms of growing the sport, not, not a good champion. And there's other drivers out there. Kyle Larson, we've seen him become a champion. Did it grow the sport? No. But in the autom in the motorsport circle, in the automotive world, when you hear about Kyle Larson winning a championship, everybody's like, yeah, that makes sense because he's one of the best drivers in the world right now, if not like top three at the moment. I would argue he is top three. So you have guys like that, guys that we know are capable of winning championships, guys that people within motorsports are like, yes, they deserve to win the championship. They are that good. And don't get me wrong. I want to see that. I absolutely want to see that. But when you talk about best champion for growing the sport, you need a polarizing driver like Bubba. Sure, half the fan base hates him, half the fan base loves him. Much like Danny, I don't know if it actually splits down the middle. I would argue it does not. But he's a guy that could help grow the sport. And there's a lot of things that go into it. A lot of things people don't want to 
talk about. He's talked openly about his struggle with depression and everything like that. Again, these are things that people can relate to. Most people can't relate to Chase Elliott. Sorry, they just can't. Oh, he has a he has a ski home in Colorado, broke his leg on his way to fly on his private jet to Las Vegas. Hard to resonate with people. Hard to resonate with people outside of the sport as well. Bubba does resonate with people. He does, and it's just unfortunate that people won't, they'll put their blinders on like they're a racehorse and not actually want to pay attention to you know the, the thought process behind that. I do think the funniest thing, if Bubba were ever to win a championship, is the amount of fans that would be like, oh, he could only ever win a championship in an elimination style format. That means that his championship isn't legit, blah, blah, blah. But then turn around and say that Chase Elliott's a champion, Kyle Larson's a champion, Ryan Blaney's a champion, Kyle Busch is a two-time champion, and think that all those are legitimate. You 100% know that would happen. There are certainly drivers out there that are good champions for the sport. I think that Ryan Blaney is a good champion for the sport. I think he's done a lot of things that NASCAR's asked him to do. He's gone on different shows. He's gone out of his way to promote the series. I think that is good. There's only a handful of drivers within the sport that are really what you would consider good in terms of growing the sport. William Byron, good guy, nice guy, wins races. He's really fast. Does he help grow the sport outside of the circle? No, he doesn't. Other than the fact that like they could sell a lot of that like 24-24 crossover merch between he and Gordon about the 24 being a champion again. They would make a ton of money off of that merchandise. A double die cast set. You know what I'm talking about. So there's that. Ty Gibbs, not going to be a good champion for the sport if he ever gets to that point. Martin Truex Jr., we've seen him become the champion. But like Chase Elliott, just doesn't really do much for that. A guy like Josh Berry helps, you know, the sport in like the grassroots circle, but I don't think he really transcends outside of the sport from there. John Hunter Nemechek, Eric Jones don't really do much. Ross Chastain could be a bit of a polarizing driver to win the championship. I think that he probably falls into like second or third in line behind Bubba in terms of like drivers that could maybe get their name outside of the sport. One, he races for a team that is great at marketing and track house. Two, his, one of his co-owners is Pitbull. So that's going to at least open them up to a different audience than traditional, you know, traditionally watches NASCAR. At the same time, his Hail Melon clip from Martinsville went insanely viral. It was on everything. Every single person saw it. Every show talked about it. Every social media clip account, you know, shared it at some point. Everybody knew who Ross Chastain was. And if he wins a championship, everybody's going to be like, oh, isn't that the guy that did the video game move? Ross Chastain's polarizing. He also doesn't give an F. The Ross Chastain don't give an F tour continues to roll on, and he will do that until he wins a championship, if he ever does. You could argue that Daniel Suarez would be a great champion for the sport as well, and it would open up NASCAR to a much bigger international audience than they already have. I mean, you would have to have a race in Mexico then. You would just have to, because it would be absolutely bonkers if they were to do it. Outside of all these guys, though, there's not a ton of other relatable people out there for, for NASCAR to you know potentially become a champion that can grow outside of the sport. So while I understand what Rubin is Racing was saying, and their, their content's not what I consume, and no knock on those guys, they're just more of a casual fan. They're new fans. They don't necessarily understand everything. They're like they're looking at it through like the same lens as like a lot of the new Formula One fans with Drive to Survive. They're like Oh yeah, Nikita Mazepin, he's a great race car driver. What do you Because that one that one episode from Russia made it seem like he was absolutely on a banger of a race and he was getting lapped in the meantime. So I think that the people maybe are looking through this with a different lens than than some people that have you know watched the sport for a long time, which is fine. I just don't think that Denny is that guy that would be a great champion. It would be nice. I mean, after watching the Netflix documentary, do I want to see Denny Hamlin win a championship just so his dad can see it? Absolutely. You throw a dad thing into most things, you're going to make me be like, all right, I want to see this guy win a championship just so I can see his dad be happy. It's not his dad's fault. His son kind of goes out there and is a uh, bit of a, a cocky, dorky, toothy, smiled idiot from time to time. But I still want to see his dad be able to smoke a cigar with Michael Jordan because that would just be nice for him to see at the end of the day though i don't think that he would be a great he wouldn't be a great champion for outside sport denny don't get me wrong would do every single thing people asked of him if nascar was like hey we need you to do x y and z denny's going to do it because he has a major vested interest in the sport right now with 2311 so from that standpoint i get it he would be but in terms of like trying to connect trying to get to people outside of the sport 
I don't think Denny does it. He'll go on all the shows. I just don't know if people resonate or care enough about Denny Hamlin. And like I mentioned, he's approaching retirement age for a driver and you're gonna draw people in to be Denny Hamlin fans and then he's going to bounce out in like three years maybe. That's unfortunate. So yeah, I, I'm interested to see what other people have to say. I know people aren't going to like the, the Bubba take, but it just, in my opinion, from a marketing standpoint, he would be the best one to help grow the sport and attract new eyes to it. So let me know in the comments who you think the best champion would be. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.